What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at three new spray releases from the Forte series. The Texture Spray, Free Spray, and the Sea Salt Spray. With the Texture Spray first, the brand describes this as a groundbreaking, versatile hairspray that adds volume and texture to any hair type. They also say it offers a pliable, flexible hold that is restylable all day. This one is only available in the USA and price-wise we're looking at $24 for 7 ounces. Next we have the Free Spray, which again according to the brand is an extreme hold hairspray that provides control and a natural looking finish. They say it's formulated with anti-humidity and wind resistant ingredients to lock in flyaways and eliminate frizz. This too is only available in the USA and it's priced at $26.50 for 10 ounces. Last now we have the new sea salt spray and Forte describes this as the perfect tool to achieve an effortless beach inspired look in seconds. This salon grade spray will enhance natural curls, reduce frizz, and will add volumized texture to your hair. This one here is not limited to the USA like the others we talked about and it sells for $14.50 for four ounces. Now this is usually where I'd show you what's inside the jar but since we're you know talking about sprays here I can't exactly do that but I can tell you that each one of these spray pretty much as expected. Nothing weird there or even new for that matter. You know, it's it's a, a good even spray. It's a nice mist on all three here and it really sets things up nicely for the demos here, which we're going to jump straight into now. I am going to start with the texture spray because that one had the most to discuss and I used it a few times to try and decide how I was going to do this here and there is a few ways you can actually use this. You can use it alone in your hair. You can use it with different products and, and you know, things like that but I actually saw Alex Costa himself the other day post a full routine using the Forte series products including this spray here and I thought his result was awesome so I decided I was actually going to just do the same routine to see what results that I'd get and to also demonstrate the texture spray here so so here we have wet hair I just washed it actually with the Forte series cleansing set and we're going to start with the argan oil serum just like Alex did in his post and I am working that all the way in as usual and then I will hit it with the heat nothing really special here I'm getting it all the way dry I'm using full blast full heat everything like that and then I'm going to throw in some of the molding paste again just like he did in his post this also gives us a good opportunity to get our before shot so we can compare it later because the next step is to add that texture spray and this was really a cool product to experiment with because it doesn't quite feel like products I've used in the past and with that I am going to pause and interrupt the demo here and just explain what I mean by that in the past of course we have used and had texture sprays on the channel. So no, I'm not hyping this or anything like that. I, I do have a specific reason why I, I say it's different than other texture sprays that I've used. For starters, it's like an airy, soft, almost dry spray. If you can kind of imagine a dry shampoo without the shampoo, without the cleansing effect and and you know kind of a, a bit less dry I'd say that's kind of the best way that I can describe this here other sprays that we've looked at in the past here on the channel they've kind of they've all they've entered the hair wet for example and then they evaporate to release the effects into the hair so this doesn't behave like that at all I mean that's it comes out very light almost like it's just blowing air really it, I mean sometimes it does get a little hard to describe the feeling that you see or, or what you see when you're using this it comes it kind of comes out a specific way but it's not wet like hairspray it's not sticky either so that's why I say it's not quite like other texture sprays and just like Alex's post his routine that we saw on his page there I am going to kind of comb the product in as I spray it I don't really feel anything here as I do this like stickiness or anything like that but, but I can see the way that it the hair is changing it's it's changing the way it's sitting on my head the way it's looking and I think you can see it here too it's plumping the hair it's giving it more volume it's not you know a huge mind-blowing change but it is doing something which is pretty cool I thought this was also a really good time to try out the free spray too to see what effect it has on just locking in this result even further and just like any hairspray you do want to hold it you you know away from your hair and you know you don't want to get too close with it so that's what I'm doing here and I'm making sure not to overdo it too I don't want to you know turn my head into a helmet here or anything like that and right away there is a difference in this spray versus the texture spray that we just saw this one here is more of a traditional hairspray it has a wet initial feel again typical of hairsprays and once I spray it into my style there I'm just gonna leave it alone and let it do its thing here I'm just gonna leave it alone which now you can see here this is only about 30 minutes or so later it's fully hardened up 
up and locked in and it's you know pretty serious holding as you can see here it's got some really nice hardening going on there so my hair ain't going anywhere clearly we do though have one more product to look at here though so I do need to reset my hair real quick so we can take a look at this sea salt spray for this one I'll be doing a standard pre-style scenarios and I'll be following the directions on the spray itself which says to spray three to five times into towel dried hair at the roots and then of course I'm gonna hit it with the heat and after doing that this is the result that I get and I have to say I'm pretty impressed here. I actually haven't had much luck in the past with sea salt spray, but I'm seeing a definite result with this one. I mean, volume, control, there's some good body in the hair. I think this one was actually quite good. Now though, let's talk scents for these sprays. I think they're all the same scent. I mean, I could be wrong, but they if they're not the same scent, they're very similar. I But I think they're, the, I mean, my nose is jacked anyway, but I think it's the same, same scent. But I found the scents to be very typical of hairsprays. They usually, you know, t hairsprays in general usually have you know, a kind of fresh smelling scent to them. And for these, I found them to be very typical of that. But I also found them to be a bit strong for my nose. I do though have a scent allergy, everyone knows this, so I am coming at this criticism from a, pl a place of being allergic to strong scents. So I wanna make that very clear. That's why I'm saying it like this because I am allergic to strong scents. You know, it made it a little hard to breathe in the bathroom, you know, because it was pretty strong. I mean, except for the sea salt spray. I didn't, I didn't actually find the sea salt spray to be that strong, but definitely these two here, I thought the, the scent was a, a, just a little bit strong for my liking. The washout though was a much better experience. All of these super easy rinsed out with just water. There was really nothing else to report there. I rinsed my hair three different times with these products. It came straight out of my hair each time no problem whatsoever there. But now let's talk verdicts on all three of these sprays here. For the freeze spray up first, I think this one did pretty good performance wise. It really does what they say it does. I mean, it's a freeze hairspray. I mean, it just freezes the hair in place. I also like the fact that it doesn't dry the hair out as it does this. You know, some hairsprays do have a tendency to do that. It kind of just makes your hair not only feel like it's gonna snap off, but it just makes it feel dry at the same time. I do wanna say though, that you do need to be careful when using this product because it is really easy to overdo it and in, and if you do it will bring out some serious helmet head i mean if you even just hold it too close to your head it will you know kind of get the the hairspray in one spot you know leave it out from other spots you'll kind of you know target one area you won't get it spread evenly and then that one spot will become very hard so you need to just you know use it sparingly and use it correctly there is instructions on the can to prevent such a thing from happening but other than that, I do think it performs, you know, pretty much like a hairspray should. I do think that the price might be a bit high for some folks at $26.50 for 10 ounces compared to other hairsprays out there. But, you know, that's completely subjective too. So that, that's kind of in the eye of the beholder, I guess. For the texture spray though, this one was pretty cool to use. I really liked how different it was, you know, compared to others as I've already explained. I think performance wise, folks with heavy hair, long hair, thick hair, you won't see as many many of the effects as folks I'm theorizing with opposite hair types. As you saw in the demo, the results that I got with this one, you know, it, it wasn't huge in my hair. You know, the results were definitely there. Uh, it was just a, a bit hard to see. So in other words, I would have just liked to have seen everything turned up. I would have liked to have seen it be a little more identifiable in my hair, in other words. I do, though, think that it was very cool that they didn't just copy other texture sprays. You know, a, a lot of texture sprays kind of go the same route. I really appreciate the fact that they went back to the drawing board and really put some thought into how they could tackle a known product in a different way. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of people coming out with their own interpretations of products, so I thought that was very cool to see. For the sea salt spray, though, for our last product here, I have to admit, I was impressed. I also have to admit that I went into it not expecting much because in the past, I've had a terrible time getting any type of result from a sea salt spray. But here, the, as the trend seems to be with the, the Forte series in general, they did their own thing with this one and decided to just not go the route of a simple spray with sea salt. And, you know, if, if the sea salt works for you, great. If it doesn't, well, you know, can't really help you there. I mean, to me, they obviously gave this more than just the typical sea salt infusion because I see in my hair when I use this a lot of control. I see, you know, my hair it actually felt softened as well, which was definitely unexpected. The volume was for sure increased. Texture, 
I gotta say texture was kind of about the same to be honest I I didn't see a, a whole lot of texture I did see a lot of volume I did see a lot of body in there so like some thickening in other words so the texture it was kind of the same but that's not something to split hairs over I mean little pun intended but it's not something I'm too worked up over in other words but I really think this actually was well done and the price in my opinion is quite justifiable at $14.50 but you know again that's just my thoughts and opinions on this product it, it, as always it's up to you guys to interpret what I presented here and see if it's right for your hair or not that though is my thoughts on these three new releases from the Forte series I hope you enjoyed looking at these products with me. And if you do want to check out any of the products from the Forte series, a link will be in the description there as always. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you tap that like button there. And also you need to subscribe to the channel. I mean, seriously, if you're watching this video right now and you have not yet subscribed, you just need to click the button. You just need to do it. Thank you very much in advance for doing that. I will be back to you guys again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.